Guys, good morning. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's 9 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I want to talk a little bit about Caitlyn Jenner. I've been wanting to talk about her for a while, and uh, the fact that she's running for governor of California, and that, don't, that really just affects California, not the whole United States, not the rest of us. And the fact that I really don't have anything good to say about her uh, kind of stopped me from making this video. But after seeing the interview with Sean Hannity, I need, to, I need to speak up and get this out of my system. All right, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the fact... I, I don't know if any of you are having this problem. And I don't, I'm not saying this to be disrespectful. You guys know me, you know my, my record, my history and everything. I have a problem. I remember Caitlyn Jenner as Bruce Jenner. I grew up as a kid. I was 10 years old in 1976. Bruce Jenner was the, in the Olympics. He was an Olympic star. You know, the, the boys wanted the haircut. The girls loved him. You know, he was on the box of Wheaties. You know, and I, I, I specifically, specifically remember that, you know. Um, when I look at Caitlyn Jenner, I, in the eyes, I could still see Bruce. And I have a hard time. And I, don't, I do not do this on purpose. But, and I don't do it out of any disrespect. But I find myself thinking of Caitlyn as Bruce. And I accidentally say he sometimes and I, like I said you guys know me and I, I'm not doing this on purpose I'm getting much better at it but if it happens in this video understand you know it's, it's not meant out of disrespect I honestly just remember this person as Bruce all right enough about that so the interview with Sean Hannity uh I, I hope for the people of California that she disappears she she doesn't <laughs> doesn't become governor of California to me, this is a person that does not have any business in being in politics. Everything she said, is it, it really comes across as a billionaire reality TV show star using that fame, trying to switch lanes in the, into, into politics and having no clue of what uh, the history, law, or anything to do with this country. That's my, that's my opinion of Caitlyn Jenner. All right, some of the stuff she said, she talked about homelessness, and uh, I don't know what her plan, California does have a big problem. I think the big reason California has a problem with homelessness is, is not, to me, I don't think it has anything to do with being a, a blue state. I think the weather, if you're going to be homeless, you're going to be homeless, you know, you're not going to be homeless here in Connecticut or Maine or uh, Michigan. You're going to be homeless someplace warm, uh, Texas, California, Florida. Out of those three, and then I, I really see California as a, a, the traditional like land of opportunity. You know, rags to riches stories. You know, it's making it in, where anybody could make it. Well, that's supposed to be New York. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. But you know what I'm saying? It's warm, and it's got that. Uh, you know, the possibility of making it into commercials or TV or dancing or singing or whatever. You know, and I, I really believe that's why it's a big draw for a lot of people. It's you know. When, you, when you've never visited there, you've got this beautiful picture of it. I, I've been to L.A., I've been to uh, Hollywood before, and uh, let me tell you this. The first time I saw graffiti painted all over the palm trees, <laughs> it kind of freaked me out. You don't see that on postcards. That was on Venice Beach. Anyway, back to Caitlyn Jenner. All right, so she talks about homeless people, homeless people and she talks about, she's, she's giving this interview from her airplane hangar. Her own airplane hangar. Yeah, that's another strike right there. All right. She talks about her friend across the way in his airplane hangar and how he's leaving California because he keeps bumping into homeless people. Those damn homeless people. Strike two right there. Um, another part of the interview, Caitlyn Jenner strikes me as disingenuous. My, my BS alarm goes off. You know, we all, I've talked about this before. We all have an, we all have an interior sensor. You know, we feel uncomfortable, anxiety. You know, when, when somebody's full of it, when somebody's dancing around, that's the, I get that feeling constantly when I watch Caitlyn Jenner talk. Her face, but her hands, there's something about her hands. And I, I get the feeling that she's, that she's uncomfortable, that she's being disingenuous, that she's being something she's not. And I, I don't mean that. I mean, I don't mean that in the transgender way. I mean that she's trying to be like, uh, she's trying to be middle of the road. That's the, that's the, the opinion I get of her. She's, she's trying not to anger. She's, you know, trying to, she's trying to be liked by everybody. That's the feeling I got from her. 
So she talks about Donald Trump, and I don't think she came out and said she likes Donald Trump, but it's obvious she's a Trumper, you know? That's another reason I don't like her. I, you know, it's just the fact that, that Trump supporters and Republicans have, there's no love lost for the LGBTQ community. I mean, the, let's just face it, um, in general, that group of people looks at the LGBTQ community as an abomination, and not not my you know that's that's the way I think they see that community. Then the fact that you have her kind of kissing up to them to Donald Trump, people that kiss up like that, even though they know that these people have no respect for him, like Ted Cruz, that makes me have no respect for that person. Um, you know, I'm just guessing here, but I think if if Donald Trump was in a room where nobody else could hear him and he was talking about transgender people or he was talking about Caitlyn Jenner. I don't think he'd have anything good to say, you know, I, not at all. So the fact, or, or let's say Brad Raffensperger, he was another one that's, you know, the secretary of state of Georgia. He still said, you know, he's a big Trump supporter, even though Trump, you know, tried to twist his arm and Trump threw him under the bus for not cheating for him in the election and everything, but he still kisses Trump's at, uh, but people like that, I have no respect for, I have no, no patience for whatsoever. And that's the way I see Caitlyn Jenner. All right, so she says this of, of Donald Trump. Now, she, she's trying to, to me, she's trying to be middle of the road. She says, you, you got to admit, though, he shook things up in Washington. Wow. That right there was strike four, five, and six. <laughs> you know, I know there's only three strikes, but you know what I'm saying. He shook things up. Not, oh, man, I've heard other people say this before. Where do I start with this? You know, uh, was 1940s Germany, did, did, did that, that guy shake it up back then? Uh, Manson, did he shake it up? Uh, you know, some, shaking things up is not always a good thing. Uh, probably, you know, I don't know, it's probably rarely a good thing unless the person has a plant. You know, making a mess and tearing things down is only good if you have a plan to rebuild it. Trump. Putting into the Secretary of Education, uh, the United States Postal Service, Department of uh, Environmental Protection, um, Social Security, every single secretary he put in there despised the branch that they were in charge of. We saw that. We still see that now. Our, our mail slowing down and getting more expensive with... Uh, Louis DeJoy, DeJoy, I keep saying that wrong, you know, take, you know, cutting the hours and that's one of Trump's appointees. Uh, Social Security, people uh, were late getting uh, checks for that $1,400 uh, stimulus check because he, he made up this excuse about that. He didn't have all the information. And then when they got on him, uh, the Senate and Congress called him out on it. He said, well, I'll get right on it. That was just recently. Betsy DeVos despises public schools. She's in charge of public education. Is that shaking things up? Or, or is shaking things up, you know, talking about putting UV lights in the body, putting disinfectant in the body, staring at an eclipse without... Remember that? Staring at the, staring at the solar eclipse without glasses. Remember that? Is that shaking things up? How about... Uh, Mocking handicapped people. That's shaking things up. Uh, you know, I, I could just go on and on here. So Caitlyn Jenner thinks he really shook things up. Or the insurrection, the, uh, insurrection January 6th. That was certainly shaking things up. Uh, yeah, so Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, I'm kind of hoping she fades back to reality TV. Or, you know, I'll be honest. I just remember... Bruce Jenner. I, I haven't been paying attention to the Caitlyn Jenner reality TV show, show stuff, and I just kind of hope she goes back to that. Uh, no disrespect. You guys know I, I, you know I support and I love the LGBTQ community, but I've got no patience or trust for Caitlyn Jenner. Just my opinion. All right. You guys have a good Friday. Let me know what you think.